What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. In this episode, we're gonna go over the new offering from Electro & Company. This is the little bit kit for your razor. It's a bolt-on solution. It's a, would you say, a little bit less expensive than the extreme kit that's more of a budget-friendly option for people to it, get into the razor scene? Exactly, it's a little bit, little bit cheaper. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit less power, a little bit less everything. Yeah. But still get all that true moto goodness. Right. Perfect. And then with the, with the kit, we have it all laid out here on the table for you guys so you guys can see exactly what you're going to get when you order your kit. The first thing we're going to start off here is the battery. So Electro & Company offers a variety of batteries that will fit in your Razor. This is a 30 amp hour battery and it's 72 volts. But when you go to order on the website, you have an option to select a 76 volt and a 76 volt 24 and a 20 amp hour battery? Correct. Okay. And though this is a, tell me about this battery and why does it look different? So this battery is a 72 volt, which is a little bit lower voltage wise than our other batteries. Okay. And it's a 30 amp hour, so you have more capacity. So that's the trade off is you get a little bit more capacity with this setup at a cheaper price point. Okay. We're using different cells in this one. The reason it's funny shaped is because it also fits in our ETM V2, which has a very tight chassis. Oh, okay. So it fits in both uh, bikes. And the reason that we've put it with the little bit kit is because it has a discharge rating of 120 amps, which matches what the little bits peak line amps is. Oh, perfect. So they're perfectly matched together. You get the 30 amp power, so you get extra range and yeah. you get a really good price on the whole thing to help keep that price just a little bit less. Right, a little bit. And then for <laughs> the charger, uh, the battery, when you select your battery, it'll, it will come with the appropriate charger. Uh, and then this is a five amp charger for the batteries. That is correct. Okay. And then moving on to the controller, this is kind of the, the magic behind the whole thing is the little bit controller. It's a Bluetooth capable controller and you also get all the features from the True Moto app, which we're familiar with, with the other Electron Company uh, controllers, which is to include the Noisy Cricket and the Zapper. That is correct. Okay. So tell me a little bit about the controller and what it's capable of. Sure. So a little bit, it's really small. I wish we had a lighter here. I like to compare it to a lighter, but it fits in the palm of your hand. And this is basically taking a noisy cricket and cutting it in half, essentially. Okay. Not, it's a little bit more than cutting it in half. It right. can actually do 300 phase amps and 120 uh, line amps. Um, it's fully waterproof. Uh, obviously don't submarine your bike, sure. please. Yeah. Um, but there, it's potted just like the cricket. Yep. It's solid billet with a plastic top. Yeah. And uh, it's essentially just a little bit less than a cricket. And that's, yeah. I love the pun. Um, we really, I really feel like uh, it's funny and appropriate. Um, and there's not really much more to say about it other than it's small, it's reasonable po amount of power. Yeah. It, uh, 120. 120 uh, amps in a mini bike is, is still going to blow your hair back it's quite a lot yeah. yeah i think we're close to around nine nine and a half kilowatts sure. peak so you're right there on that you could probably touch 10 kilowatts with it mm. if you really look, watch your app with a full battery and that will definitely yeah. be quite potent and it's a bolt-in uh the the just like the cricket and so the connections on this controller are specific to each of the parts or pieces that come off of the controller. So you can't mix up what is gonna get plugged in where. That is correct. So if you're new to this and you really want a bolt-in solution to go fast on your mini bike, this is where it's at. One thing here people might be wondering is, how do I gonna connect my phase wires? Well, your phase wires are going to come with a bolt, a bolt set up here with the shrink wrap. So you're just gonna take your motor wires, you're gonna connect them to your, your controller, bolt them together, slide your heat shrink over each connection, and then heat it up just to keep those connections from touching. Exactly. Right. And then moving on with the kit also comes with the on off switch. Now I know with the extreme kit, you can elect to get a keyed ignition or the on off switch. Is that the same for this kit as well? You can still okay. do that with this one. Uh, we don't have it out right now, but you can do a key switch voltmeter or just a regular on off switch. Obviously we are moto guys. I don't like bumping my knee sure, into the Sure, yeah, key. I remember you mentioning that in the last video. Totally, yeah. but for street people, it's an added 
level of security. Right, kind of like we had mentioned before, if you're parking outside your coffee shop or your your uh, your local bar or maybe the grocery store, you want a little bit extra security, maybe elect for the key. But if you're going to be off-roading and then maybe just the on-off switch is adequate for you. 100%. So moving on here, this is a throttle. This is a this is a nice throttle. I don't know that I've ever seen this throttle yet on on the uh, Electro and Company offerings. Tell me a little bit about the throttle. So this is this is an ETS two throttle. We use this on our EMX uh, YZ EMX and EMX twenty eight kilowatt kits. Yeah, it's nice. These this right now is actually coming off of a Suron. Okay. I'm no no shame there. We've yeah, tested sure. all the throttles. It's a it's a, tr it's a tried and true throttle. I mean, yes. it's been highly thousands underrated. And thousands of bikes. Highly underrated. Yeah. I think we've compared it to a Hurstman, to a Domino, to a this, to a that. Mm -hmm. And even on a 40, 50 horsepower bike, yeah. this one that reigns a... supreme for us. So gotcha. it made sense. It's more affordable. It feels better. Yep. So we're gonna go with that. Perfect. And so this is what comes with the little bit. Um, and then can you buy this as a standalone option on your website if you wanted to? Not right now. Okay. Um, this, I think that there's a lot of places you can buy a Star on ETS too. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do that, um, you can get them pretty much anywhere. Okay. And but but the thing the about yours is, which is unique, is it plugs right into your controller. That's what I was just gonna say. Yeah. So for our, in our instance, you know, um, if you break it or whatever, or, or you need one, yeah. Please just go ahead and reach out. Um, maybe we'll add it. Yeah. But right now, it's not currently available. Cool. And then it also comes with grips. It's gonna come with your grips. And then the last but not least, I'm gonna talk about the motor. So this is the EC4P version three. That is correct. Okay. So. Electro Co. has gone through a few iterations of their motor, and this is the version three. Tell me a little bit about the differences between the version three and the version two, which I think most of us in the industry are already familiar with. The version, sure. the version three is improved how? Sure, so uh, version one to version two was the uh, end beefed up end yep. caps. Yep. So for the V3 version, what we did was we moved internally, and there's a stainless steel band on the rotor that holds the magnets in. Okay. So the magnets weren't really a huge issue with delamination, but this will allow us to spend that nine or so thousand RPM plus without any worry on that. Mm -hmm. We also have hardened the shaft. So um, while we're, what we did with the EC4P in general is we wanted to keep that same double D bore that everyone right. was been using. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, in hindsight, it seems that when you run 11, 12, 13, 14, or even 15 kilowatts yeah. through the cricket, um, if you're really abusive on it, it has proven to be a, 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 an issue here and there. Uh -huh. And we want to get these, uh, you know, failures down to an absolute minimum. Sure. So what that's just the way things go. You, you develop something and then you see an improvement, you make the improvement. Something happens, you see a, where something can be improved and then you make an improvement and then that's how things evolve and technology grows, I guess. We've left it with the double D bore. You can still use your stuff. This is, this is going to be a lot stronger. Yeah. And I think as we move into uh, later iterations of the motor, we're going to have to maybe design something that's a little bit more robust to push even more power. Cause I think we're starting to reach the limit of what we can do on this double D bore. So mm. it's, we're right there. So with the hardened shaft, I think we're all good to go now. Yeah. But as we creep into this 20 plus horsepower range on these little bikes, we're going to have to go to just a different design. So we're not going to be able to accommodate right. these um, higher outputs without changing the entire shaft, which means people are going to have to get new sprockets and stuff, yeah. which is, I, I just want, I, I want to touch on that because why would we leave this double D bore on here in the first place? And that's why it's because everybody already has a sprocket and chain setup, and yep. we didn't want to go away from that and make you guys buy something new. Mm -hmm. So now we're, we're on the harden. We've hardened it. So I yep. believe you can keep that okay. with the four P. Gotcha. All right guys. So that's the kit. That's what comes in the kit. That's the specifics of the kit. Let's go put the kit in the bike and try it out. Let's go. One thing I didn't mention earlier in the talk is the little bit is sold by itself as well. You don't have to buy the whole kit. So if you already have a Viver motor, a Kunray motor, but you want to upgrade your power and you're tired of that crappy Viver controller or you want to get a Vest controller, 
The little bit can sold by itself and it also works with those MY1020 style motors. Promise land awaits you. So one thing about this little bit kit, I don't want anybody to think that 120 amps is weak. 100, like Austin was saying, 120 amps on these little bitty bikes with these 10 inch wheels is a ton of power. This particular bike does not have a swing arm extension on it and it just wants to wheelie. It wants to come up and the power is there. 120 amps, y'all. If you think about your Viva kit, which a lot of us are already familiar with, those controllers with the battery, a 48 volt battery-ish, is about 40 amps. So if you think about it, this is three times more than what those are delivering. But I'll say, I think this, this kit here is probably adequate for most of us riders. You know, the, the modification side is a lot of us adults are doing this. This is adequate for most of us. Now the extreme kit, that's extreme. That's a noisy cricket controller. Uh, it's about twice as powerful as this controller. So if you're an extreme guy, that's probably your kit. It costs a little bit more money too. But for, for what we do, for what I do mostly is I ride around in the neighborhood, uh, take my mini bikes to the bars, ride over to my buddy's house, you know, kind of a little light commuting stuff. This, this is perfect. This is all you need. And it bolts in. You don't have to know how to wire anything. You don't have to know anything about electronics to make this thing work. The one of the benefits with this controller also is the ability to have the True Moto app. The True Moto app for a beginner, you don't have to know any settings. You don't have to know how many amps or how many bolts you need to set it at. There's a slide bar, that you just go into the app and you can adjust your power. You can adjust your speed. You know, super simple for people just getting into this. Super simple. The Electro & Co line of controllers continues to grow and as does the technology that they implement into the controllers and the features of the app.